forever flow all for sin could not at all thou must say and thou alone rock of ages rock of it let me ask my seven days let the water from the raven side raven side which flows be of sin the double cure leave me from his guilt and power thank you Jesus those that are weak Those that have seen the, the helplessness of their own lives. Those who are no longer having anything to cover. Those who can come naked for him to cover you with his dress. Those who can come to him helpless so that he can give them grace. Those who are no longer interested in pretending. You are no longer looking to make impression. You want, <clears throat> you want God to help your life. Holy Spirit. Walk your walk tonight. Release mercy to this meeting tonight. Mercy. Mercy that leads men to victory. Mercy that leads men to repentance. Mercy that will break the yoke. Mercy that translates from the pit unto the height of your grace. Oh, tonight, Lord, do it for us. I pray, I plead with you. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit continue to move in this meeting. Transport and translate. Forgive and cleanse. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With those hands stretched out to heaven, I'd like to stand with God on your behalf. I know God is here. And I know it is for people like you. He came. You know they brought that woman to Jesus. They said, we caught her. We caught her. We caught her. They thought that he was going to tell them to stone her to death. They didn't know that they are bringing her to Jesus. Who is eager to show mercy rather than collect sacrifice. And he decided to have mercy on her. He said, I have had mercy on you. Go and say no more. Did you come broken? Did you come shattered? You have spoiled your testimony. You were wondering, how can you gather it? But Jesus is saying, yes, I have come to have mercy. I prefer to have mercy than to take a sacrifice. Lord, tonight, because of the blood that you shed at Calvary, and because of the mercy seat that is still available, we have come to you now. All our arguments we have dropped it. All our excuses cannot excuse us. Some of us, we are so intelligent, we don't know why our intelligence has failed us. Because we didn't know the way of mercy. 
We are always seeking personal merit. Not knowing that it is mercy that you want. So I will have mercy rather than sacrifice. Tonight, Lord Jesus, you say, come, those of you that have no money. And you can see, Lord, we came bankrupt. We came with nothing in our hands. There's nothing to impress you. There's nothing to impress you. But we have come, all the same, just as we are. And tonight, I'm asking that mercy will be will released. Yeah. Mercy that releases grace will come upon your lives. Yeah. Mercy that pro pro produces forgiveness, that cleanses without leaving a stain. Yeah. So even though your sin be as red as crimson, that's a stain that cannot be washed by any means. Say they'll be as white as snow. Amen. Oh Lord, tonight, let mercy prevail over judgment. Amen. Tonight, I'm pleading with you that mercy will come to each of these hearts. Amen. Mercy that will lift them from the dungeon Amen. and set their feet upon the rock. Amen. It takes them from the pit and places them on the throne. Lord, mercy, mercy that takes a man from naughtiness and locates him in the midst of those that are prominent. Amen. Let that mercy come tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I'm asking, because it's mercy that you have decided to show to these young lives, you didn't want them to expand until they are totally spent before you will help them. Now, Lord, send your help to their lives. Yeah. As they receive your help, as they receive your mercy, as they ask Jesus, who is the embodiment of your mercy to us, say the Lord came to us by Moses, but grace and truth have come to us in Christ Jesus. As we receive the grace of God in Christ tonight, as we receive the embodiment of God's mercy tonight, Cause this consignment of mercy to overwhelmingly flow into these lives. Addictions that have been there for years, we break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I know that for years you have thought that you will struggle, you will grow out of it. No, it's mercy that will lift you up. Lord, lift them up in the name of Jesus. Lift them up tonight in the name of Jesus. Create enmity between their soul and the things of the flesh. Let it be effortless. Let it be a translation by your mercy. The kind that they will say, how did I climb out of that pit? How did I come out? Who pulled me out? The mercy of God. Lord, it will be so evident from this meeting. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, you principalities and power, listen. You have accused these ones day and night. But God said, I will have mercy on who I will have mercy. God has decided to have mercy on them today. What can you do? What can you do? If God be against, if God be for us, who can be against us? If God has opened a door of mercy, who can shut it? So Satan, tonight I challenge you. What can you do about these lives? What can you do to stop God from having mercy on them? What can you do to stop God from raising them up? Lost your power. You have lost your authority. You have lost your covenant over their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is entering into a new covenant with their lives tonight. And he's going to bring them and give them the sure mercies of David. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. And so tonight, even those chronic diseases that you have gone up and down with, 
deliverance upon deliverances. Effortlessly tonight we break it in the name of Jesus. Because it is the question of your mercy. It's not merit. It's not because we tried. It's not because we worked hard. It's because you decided to do it. So tonight, Father, everything that stood contrary to these lives, we uproot it in the name of Jesus. Zacchaeus was regarded as a worse sinner. Nobody will identify with him. But you've had mercy on him. You followed him home. You suspended your journey to be with Zacchaeus because your mercy prevailed over his mistakes. Lord, tonight you will follow these people home. They will become your object of mercy. They will be in your ICU of mercy. Everything that concerns them will evoke mercy from your hand, from your heart, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for tonight. Now, Lord, I'm trusting you. Your mercy brought them here. Your mercy will sustain them. Your mercy will keep this work in their lives. Some of them will say, is this, is this all? I thought it would be much more difficult than this. Is it the way I will be out of this difficult thing that I've been on for years? That's how your mercy works. Wear any. So tonight, oh God, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, but I want to ask you for one more thing. It pleases you, oh God, to come at this point in the lives of these ones to show them mercy. As we come back here tomorrow, the impartation of your mercy, we have dealt with only the first consignment, mercy that cleanses from the offenses. Mercy that delivers from sin. But Lord, you know, oh God, that the mercy you are dealing with concerning us goes beyond our offenses. It's the mercy that will make us to accomplish our destiny. Lord, as we wait and prepare for you tomorrow, you will impact that upon these lives in the name of Jesus Christ. One by one, oh God, one by one, oh God. And name by name, name by name, name by name, oh God. You will do a deliberate work from here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we are prayed.